Hello, my dear children of class 2. Your English teacher, Deepal Gale, is again with you in this class 2. Uh, today, in this class, you are going to read the remaining portion of the story called this adventure from your English book. Okay. Please go to page number 9 of the second chapter of unit one okay this is for the uh, student of class two so my dear children listen very carefully let us enjoy the story okay uh, in the previous class we knew that there are two characters in the story one is all the a little school going child and the another one is giraffe and his name is Ismail. I told to you that a giraffe is a tall animal with a long neck. Okay. The giraffe here in the story is not an ordinary giraffe. In this story, he used to wear spectacles and is fond of books too okay he always carries uh, books with him uh, all this was surprised to see him at the first meeting when she was on her way to school isn't it the giraffe wished Haldi good morning and told to her that his name is Ismaili the name of the giraffe was Ismaili Whenever you see, you smile. The giraffe had said to Haldi. While talking with the giraffe, Haldi was sitting late to her school too. Isn't it? She was enjoying talking with him as well as she was also worried about it. About, about her school uh, and all the was assured by the giraffe giraffe offered all this to take her school daily by carrying her on his back okay the story was like this isn't it uh, okay let us now continue the remaining portion of the story okay <clears throat> uh, look at the page number nine yes set haldi <clears throat> i go to school on mondays Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. On Saturdays, I play games at school. All these go to goes to school every day, isn't it? Only on Saturday, she plays game at school. In other days, she studies. Okay. What do you do in school? Asked the giraffe. The giraffe asked to Aldi, What do you do in school? What do you learn in school? Why do you go to school? The giraffe asked to Haldi. I learn about the stars, the trees, the birds and the animals. Haldi replied, I learn. I get to learn about the stars. 
the trees the birds and the animals all the reply to the giraffe that she studies about the star the trees the birds and the animals okay that is good said the giraffe that is very very good the giraffe said i love books too they are lo they are lots of fun now jump on my back i will take you to school what did the giraffe say to all the the giraffe was agree to it all the okay because he also like books he was also fond of books isn't it uh, then the giraffe said to all the offered all the to sit on his back because the giraffe wants to take all the to her school in time isn't it because all the is already getting late to reach her school okay haldi then jumped on the giraffe's back i am reading the last paragraph of this page okay haldi then jumped on the giraffe's back and found that she could see so many things from the top and before she knew it she had reached the school playground she climbed down when she turned back to thank the giraffe she found that he had gone away what happened in the story giraffe offered haldi to sit on his back isn't it haldi then jumped on giraffe's back haldi then sit on giraffe's back she enjoyed a lot she enjoyed a lot riding the giraffe isn't it she saw so many beautiful things from the top she could look around differently because understood she could look at around differently okay she was enjoying riding the giraffe and she reached the school playground in no time okay she reached the school in time she get down from the giraffe's back isn't it and when she turn back to thank the giraffe because the giraffe has done a lot for her when she turned back to thank the giraffe the giraffe had already gone away understood the giraffe had already gone away let us go to another page oh all the thought what a wonderful adventure i have had oh all the thought oh it is all this expression okay what a wonderful adventure i have had 
she found it a very amazing adventure of her life so we have almost finished this lesson uh, a very beautiful story of haldi and smile haldi a little school going child and smiley the giraffe who is not an ordinary giraffe because he used to wear spectacles used to carry uh, books in his hand and he is helpful to human being to isn't it uh yeah we have finished this story um here are few words few new words i will give you the meaning okay if you learn it mm -hmm. new words with their meanings and example sentences giraffe i have already told you the meaning of giraffe a tall mammal with a very long giraffe means a tall mammal with a very long neck and four legs uh, example sentence there are two example sentences rohit saw a giraffe in the zoo the giraffe is tall second word surprised amazed example sentences nita was surprised to see my to see me singing I was surprised to see my gift adventure an exciting and daring experience example sentences it is an adventure to climb rocks my first day at school was an adventure for me wonderful extremely good example sentence eating ice cream in winter is wonderful we all had a wonderful weekend playground an outdoor area for children to play example sentences we play cricket in the playground krishna was dancing in the playground and these are new words with their meanings and example sentences okay you also try to do it yourself okay Mm, I have also solved the question and answer. You can see the screen. Uh, answer the following questions: so Where was Aldi going? Aldi was walking towards the school. Uh, question number two: Why did Aldi stare at the giraffe? Aldi stared at the giraffe as the giraffe was wearing the glasses and. Holding a book in his hand. Question number three: How did she reach school? She reached school by jumping on the giraffe's back. Isn't it? Question number four: How do you go to school? These questions are for you. Okay. How do you go to school? I go to school in my school bus. What do you wear to school? I wear a t-shirt and a skirt to school. If you are a boy, you should answer. I wear a t-shirt and pant to school. Have you ever seen anything strange on your way to school? Talk about it. You 
answer according to your experience although i have given you an answer uh, if it matches your experience you can write the same answer okay if you have different experience you can you you can write accordingly okay uh, yes i saw a very cute puppy playing with a kitten on the street one day the puppy was blue in color and the kitten was white they were looking very cute together uh, okay my dear children i have explained to you the story uh, as well as I am giving you the word meanings of new words with example sentences. I am giving you this question and answer. Okay. These all are your homework. You study well, you memorize it, you learn it. Okay. I pay your attention in your study. Uh, you have plenty of time now, isn't it? So, you use your precious time in your studies. Okay? Study well. Uh, if you find any uh, difficulties in reading, in uh, learning, you can contact the school. You can contact us. Okay? Uh, okay, uh, stay happy, stay safe, goodbye, see you in the next class.